Hey everybody, it's Will, and today we are starting to build my Mycotopia, my fruiting area. My first time ever setting up a fruiting area of this size for mushrooms, uh, before I've only ever fruited my mushrooms in bins. So, what we're doing, uh, we just got this uh, hydroponic grow tent. Uh, you can get these at your local hydroponic store. They have a variety of sizes, and uh, that's that's pretty much why we why we're going with this. Um, you can pretty much get um, you if you want to pay extra, you can get custom, but you can pretty much get a size that will fit in your basement, in your attic, in a closet. Um, they come from small sizes, skinny, wide. Uh, you can get a big one if you want to do a big setup. And another reason why I like these uh, hydroponic grow tents is because they are, uh, with different attachments, you can really, really control the environment inside of them as compared to the outside environment. So this could be really warm, whereas my basement will be, my basement never gets too cold, it usually stays a moderate temperature, but I can make this warmer, I can make this colder, I can bring up the humidity, I can bring down the humidity without affecting the outside environment, and I can keep this cleaner than, than uh, the environment that it's in. So we're going to just uh, open this up, we're going to be setting this up today. Um, whenever you're looking for a brand, um, talk to your people at your local hydroponic store or if you're going online, make sure that you get one that is non-toxic because some of these will off-gas and you and mushrooms absorb a lot of things. So you, you want to make sure that you're uh, doing this in a clean and non-toxic environment. First, you want to make sure your floor is clean. So we cleaned this floor uh, prior to bringing down our box. We have our instructions here. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and make the floor the we're gonna go ahead and make the floor frame. Alright, so we got the base frame, the floor part locked in place. So this is how uh, how much area we're gonna have to work with. I've never had one of these that you needed any tools to make. Uh, they usually just have these little clamps that click it. Each other. Once you've figured out where your bottom is, you're going to want to insert the frame into the bottom. So we've got the base into the canvas. All right, make sure, we gotta make sure we get this in the area we want it so we can move it when we need to before we build it up all the way. All right, so we got the skeleton set up. Uh, we had to cut out this wire piece that was here. So now that the skeleton is all set up, all we have to do is wrap this around it. We've just created an isolated clean room. Alright guys, we are in the interior of our very first mycobiome, our mycotopia. So we're just going to go over what we plan on doing here. We're going to set up two metal rack systems in here so that we may enter in through the middle and work on either side of us. Um, mushrooms produce CO2, CO2 is heavier than oxygen, it goes down to the bottom. 
So we're gonna have our uh, air, we're gonna be pulling air out from here so that CO2 air escapes. And we're also gonna add maybe a coffee plant here, something that loves uh, CO2. Um, so the air is gonna go out from there. We're gonna have fresh air coming in from the top and this is gonna be filtered through a carbon filter before it comes in here to remove any particulates because this air is coming down from our basement. Um, also, on this, t on this rack system over here, we're gonna add a small humidifier up here so that the fresh, when the fresh air comes in, uh, it, it gets the uh, humid, it gets humidified as it comes in. Um, we're gonna set up uh, one panel of fluorescent lighting up here, and it'll be sufficient enough to keep this whole area lit. Um, then we'll just get um, environmental controls like thermometer, uh, hygrometer, um, all that good stuff. And then we'll put everything on timers so that um, we don't use up all of our electricity by having everything on all the time and we don't have to worry about coming down and turning things off at night. So um, I'm very excited about this. I appreciate all of you that have tuned in so far. Um, we plan on give, bringing up a lot of content, um, and it's going to be an amazing journey of, of mycology, uh, fungal understanding, and uh, mycosymbiosis. If you have any questions or comments, inoculate the comment box. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the thumbs up, share on Facebook, Twitter, all that good jazz. And other than that, you've tuned into the Mycosymbio, propagating mycelium.